Hi my lovely friends, today I'm working on this pattern. Uh, it was inspired by a Roman mosaic I found a picture of. Uh, it's from Zaragoza in Spain. So I analyzed it and I got this, which I think is pretty cool. It's not exactly the same, but it's a similar uh, concept. And this can be used as a basis to create a lot of really, really amazing patterns. So today in class we looked at this and I was blown away by some of the art that was posted on our WhatsApp group. So I'm going to show you for the people who missed the class. Um, I am pretty sure. Yeah, we were all amazed. And um, I know people are excited to create their own version. So I'm going to get started. Um, yeah, let me just find my ruler. Oh, it fell on the floor. Okay, so um, the first thing um, that I'm going to do um, is I'm going to create a horizontal line. Okay, then I'm going to create, I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to create a one and a half inch uh, diameter circle. I'm just checking my, yeah, my drawing out. So this is a one and a half inch circle. Put it in the middle. I'm also, uh, sorry, not one and a half inch diameter, uh, one and a half inch radius, sorry. And I'm going to go ahead also and create a three inch circle. Um, that's just going to go around. Okay, that's just going to help me. Okay, when I'm creating my lines. So the first thing that I have to do. Um, if you see in this drawing I'm working on, I divided the circle to 24 equal parts. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Keep your compass the same size, and the first thing you're going to do is mark the intersection of the top and the bottom. And top and bottom. I'm going to mark those points. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and actually um, mark those points for you. And I'm also going to just draw the line right away so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to draw a line that's going to go straight across the middle. Um, and I'm also going to take uh, the same size compass. I'm going to draw an arc at the top here and here. Um, this is going to divide my circle in the middle. So take a point from the bottom right, draw an arc, and bottom left, and draw an arc. And um, that is going to be the method that we're going to use to divide all the sections of this, of this uh, circle. So you see, keep the same radius. Now you're going to go from the top. You're going to draw a little mark here and here. And from the bottom, you're going to draw a mark here and here. So now we've got a circle that's divided into 12. Go ahead and draw your lines. And um, another one here. So you could technically start right away and start drawing circles all around, but for my example, I'd want to divide my circle into 24. So I'm going to reduce the size of my compass a bit. There we go, just to make it easier to manage. About an inch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to each um, point of intersection of a line and the circle. Okay, I'm going to go to each point and I'm going to draw an arc. I'm going to go to the other side and draw arc. And that's going to create, that's the point for my line that's going to go across. So I'm going to find the opposite side, put my compass on the point, draw arc, put my compass on the point, draw an arc. Um, now I've got a line that's cutting across. Here we go. So um, this is 
what I'm going to repeat this process for all of the parts of the circle. Cool. So I did it. Now I can go through and connect each line through the center. It has to go through the center. That's the key to this exercise is that our circle will be equally divided. So I'm going to make sure that I hit the point of intersection plus the, the center. here so here is my um, circle divided into 24 so this is step one complete okay step two so I'm gonna take this original circle size I'm going to take this 1.5 inch ra uh, radius circle okay what I'm going to do, just watch where I'm putting my points. I'm putting a point everywhere on my inner circle where the lines intersect. So we are going to have 24 points around the circle. This is so cool. I love this part. This is this part is like magic. So here you go. Put your compass point on the circ on the point. Put your um, graphite bit on the um, center of the circle, and you're gonna draw a circle. Move it up to the next point. Draw another circle. Move it up. Move it up and take your time with this. Um, if you want to make sure that your compass goes in really well to your paper, just put some paper under. So you have some padding. It's really going to help. is running away from me. Wait a minute, I'm gonna... So we had a lot of fun today in class creating this together um, and discussing, chatting about life. It was a really nice heartwarming class. So here is my, this is just a geometric structure that I can use in so many different ways. So there are hundreds of things you can do with this, but today I'm going to stick to the classical um, geometry that we were looking at from ancient Rome and for that I'm just going to show you um, pick a
pick a section. Okay, and what you're gonna do is just mark the corners of your little um, your little diamonds, okay, like that. And then you're gonna put your point in the middle and you're gonna open up your compass to the first um, point. And if you've been kind of accurate with your geometry, you should hit all of the points of the similar uh, diamonds. So open it up some more. We're gonna go around again. Open it up some more. And again. And the last one is up here on the point. So feel free to pause this tutorial as many times as you need. Um, I'm also going to do one on the inner, on the inner circle. And for the, um, the model that we were looking at from, um, what they did is they created a double line in the middle. Um, yeah, so just a slightly bit smaller and they created a double line which would frame like whatever design you choose to put in the middle. So um, this is the first part and I'll get back in touch with you guys for the second part which is going to be painting. But essentially what we're going to be doing is using watercolor or a color pencil or fine tip pen to um, fill in the area. So this is what I'm working on. So I'll check, out, check back with you guys soon. Take care. Bye.